Hi folks, so this is the Leave Insert Higher Level Maths Paper 1 for 2022. So, uh, the first question is, um, it's algebra, so, uh, it, the for, part A, it's, it's in the form of a quadratic, and it tells us that X has exactly one solution, so we need to know three little rules for this, so we're taking B squared minus 4AC all of the time. So if b squared minus 4ac is uh, less than 0, well then uh, the quadratic has no real solutions. Um, if it's equal to 0, well then it has to have one, only one real solution. And if it is greater than zero, well then it has uh, two real solutions. So we need to know those three things and in this question it tells us that it has exactly one. So if it has exactly one, we can see there uh, it has to be equal to zero. Okay, so b squared minus four ac has to be equal to zero. So our a is 3, our b is minus m, and our c is 3. So we're just going to fill those in. So minus m squared minus 4 times whatever a is. So that's 3 times c, which is 3 as well, has to still be equal to 0. M, minus m squared is the same thing as m squared. Uh, minus 4 times 3 times 3 will be 36 equals 0. Let's bring the minus 36 over to the other side. It becomes positive. So m squared equals 36. So therefore m has to be equal to uh, 6 and it can be equal to plus 6 or minus 6 because remember minus 6 squared is still going to be positive 36. So your two answers then um, are positive 6 and negative 6. So uh, it, it asks us at the start to find the two values for m is an element of the integers, so minus 6 and positive 6 are both elements of the integers. Um, part b of the question then, explain why the following has no real solution. So similar again, if you go back up to the little rules I wrote up here at the start, um, so no real solutions, they're kind of asking us about the first one here then, if it has no real solutions then b squared minus 4ac it has to be less than zero so if we show that then we're okay now it's not exactly in the form of a quadratic at the start so you can multiply it out to put it into the form of a quadratic and then we'll see what b squared minus 4ac is there's other ways of doing this as well but i'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stick with this way so 2x plus 3 squared is the same thing as 2x plus 3 2x plus 3 and then we multiply out the double brackets so you can do that in the grid way or you can do this for your arrows where you're just multiplying everything by everything but you should get uh, 4x squared plus 6x plus 6x plus 9 plus 7 equals 0 and then put the like terms together 4x squared plus 12x plus uh, 16 equals 0 so our a is 4, our b is 12, and our c is 16. So b squared, so we're trying to show then if it has no uh, real solutions, well then it must be less than zero. b squared minus 4ac bit has to be less than zero. So that's gonna be one four four minus four multiplied by a is four multiplied by c is 16. Uh, so yeah, it's looking like it's going to be less than zero, which is what we want. So you can just put all of that into the calculator together then. And you should get minus 112. So minus 112 is less than zero. So therefore you've shown that it has no real roots. So I'll show that x equals minus 1 is not a solution of 3x squared plus 2x plus 5. So this is quite easy actually. All we need to do is we just need to sub in the minus 1 in for x and then 
um, it shouldn't be equal to zero then. So three multiplied by minus one squared plus two multiplied by minus one plus five equals zero. So minus one to be squared is going to be one. So that's just three times one, which is three. Plus, um, well, two multiplied by minus one is just going to be minus two. So take away two and then plus five equals zero. So three take away two is one plus five is six. So six equals zero. So that's not right, so therefore it's not a solution. Um, next one is algebraic division. So I'll find the remainder when, so it's just, you just uh, divide as you would. So I'm going to do it like this, there is a way in, in the grid as well, um, that you can divide. Five. Okay, so I'm going to take the x first, so x and divide it into this part here. So x into 3x squared will go uh, 3x times, or 3x multiplied by x will give us 3x squared. Then next part we, we multiply, so you always take what's up here, you multiply it by that, and then you multiply it by that. So 3x multiplied by x will be 3x squared. And 3x multiplied by 1 is 3x, so plus 3x. Next step, we take away. So we take 1 away from the other. So 3x squared minus 3x squared means they'll cancel out. They usually will. And then 2x minus uh, 3x will be minus x. Then I'm just going to bring this part down. This plus 5. So plus 5. So uh, let's start again then, let's divide in again, so we're taking the x and we're going to divide it into minus x, so x into minus x will go minus uh, 1 times. So minus 1 here. Uh, min then we multiply again, so minus 1 multiplied by x is minus x, minus 1 multiplied by 1 is minus 1. And then we're going to subtract again. So I'm going to do minus x minus minus x, which will be 0. And then 5 minus minus 1. So remember, I'm taking away then on that line. So that kind of automatically changes the signs. So that went into a plus and that, and that went into a plus as well. So uh, 5 plus 1 is 6, so 6. So 0 plus 6, or just 6 then, is what's left over then at the bottom. So um x so what we've kind of figured out is that x plus one goes into three x squared plus two x plus five uh this amount of times three x plus one times and then when it does the remainder then is six just positive six so that's what they asked us at the start just to find the remainder and then i think that's the last part then for uh part a Now there's another way here, you can use a box method as well, let's run through it really quickly. Uh, some of you might be used to using a box for the algebraic division. So I'm putting x and 1 here. And then in first box you put in the first term, so it's 3x squared in this case. So you divide in then, so x into 3x squared goes 3x times, that goes up on top. And then we multiply, so 1 multiplied by 3x would be 3x down here. And then to get this box here, then that's the tricky bit with this, you're trying to see what added to um, added to 3x will give you the middle part, okay, or the plus 2x. So to get from 3x to 2x, you have to subtract x, so it's just minus x or minus 1x. x into minus x will go minus 1 times, and then... We multiply again, so 1 multiplied by minus 1 is minus 1. Now we're on minus 1, so to get the next box up again, we have to see what will go along with minus 1 to get us to the last part, which is 5. So to get from minus 1 up to 5, we have to add on 6. And then uh, that's really it then, because x won't divide into 6, so we're left with that as a remainder. So uh, 6, anyway, is our final answer there.